Aqua Lung was the first open circuit, self contained underwater breathing apparatus or scuba to reach worldwide popularity and commercial success. This class of equipment is now commonly referred to as a diving regulator or demand valve. The aqua lung was invented in Paris during the winter of 1942–1943 by two Frenchmen, the engineer Émile Gagnon and naval lieutenant, Lieutenant de Viso, Jacques Cousteau. It allowed Cousteau and Gagnon to film and explore more easily underwater. Topic. Invention and patent An earlier underwater breathing regulator, known as the Regulator, was invented in France in 1860 by Benoit Rouquayrol. He first conceived it as a device to help assist in escaping from flooded mines. The Ruquirol regulator was adapted to diving in 1864, when Ruquirol met the lieutenant de Viso Auguste Deneraus. The Ruquirol Deneraus apparatus went into mass production and commercialization on 28 August 1865, when the French Navy minister ordered the first apparatuses. After 1884, several companies and entrepreneurs bought or inherited the patent and produced it until 1965. In 1942, during the German occupation of France, the patent was held by the Bernard Peel Company Etablissement Bernard Peel. One of their apparatuses went to Émile Gagnon, an engineer employed by the Air Liquide Company. Gagnon miniaturized and adapted it to gas generators in response to a fuel shortage, which was a consequence of German requisitioning. Gagnon's boss, Henri Melchier, knew that his son-in-law Jacques-Yves Cousteau was looking for an automatic demand regulator to increase the useful period of the underwater breathing apparatus invented by Commander Yves Le Prier, so he introduced Cousteau to Gagnon in December 1942. On Cousteau's initiative, the Gagnon's regulator was adapted to diving, and the new Cousteau-Gagnon patent was registered some weeks later in 1943. After the war, in 1946, both men founded La Spirotechnique as a division of Air Liquide in order to mass produce and sell their invention, this time under a new 1945 patent, and known as CG-45. C. For Cousteau, G. For Gagnon, N. 45. For 1945. This same CG 45 regulator, produced for more than 10 years and commercialized in France as of 1946, was the first to actually be called the Aqua Lung. In France, the term scaphadry autonome, scuba set, scaphadry Cousteau Gagnon. Cousteau Gagnon Scuba Set, or CG45, were meaningful enough for commercialization, but to sell his invention in English speaking countries, Cousteau needed an appealing name following English language standards. He then coined the trade name Aqua Lung. In the late 1940s and early 1950s, La Spirotechnique started exporting the Aqua Lung and leasing its patent to foreign companies like the British Sieb Gorman. These operations found great success. The Ruquirol Deneraus apparatus didn't achieve as much success because the compressed air tanks made with the technology of the time could only hold 30 atmospheres, which allowed dives of only 30 minutes at no more than 10 meters deep. Before 1945, French divers preferred their then traditional diving helmets and diving dresses. When the aqua lung became available for commercial use, divers around the world found a scuba device smaller and easier to carry than its precursor, which in fact was almost completely unknown outside France. 
In addition, and most importantly, the aqua lung could be mounted on stronger and reliable air tanks holding up to 200 atmospheres, allowing extension of diving duration to more than an hour at significant depths including the needed time for decompression stops. The first Cousteau Gagnon aqua lungs like the CG-45 of 1945 or the Mistral of 1955 were mainly twin hose open circuit scuba. They have since been made by various manufacturers with varying design details and numbers of cylinders. Like modern open circuit scuba with single hose regulators, they consisted of one or more high pressure diving cylinders and a diving regulator, the aqua lung, that supplied the diver with breathing gas at ambient pressure via a demand valve. For more than 10 years, seen in the films Apovs Shipwrecks, 1943, and Le Monde du Silence, The Silent World, 1956, the main scuba equipment used by Cousteau and his divers was an aqua lung mounted on three diving cylinders, one being used as a safe air reserve. The aqua lung allowed Cousteau's team and other divers to spend more time underwater and, along with the invention of several underwater cameras, to film and explore more freely. Topic. Open, closed circuit The original aqua lung was an open circuit design so called because gas flows from the cylinder to the diver out into the water other scuba systems that were invented before the aqua lung were closed circuit or rebreather in these apparatuses breathing gas flows from the cylinder to the diver through a scrubber which removes carbon dioxide back to a secondary bag or counter lung and then back to the diver again in a closed loop the aqua lung was not the first breathing apparatus but it was the most popular in 1934, René Kaminehays developed a firefighter's breathing apparatus which was adapted for diving by his son Georges in 1937. It was used by the French Navy during the first few years of World War II. The twin hose or double hose aqua lung demand regulator forms the foundation of all modern scuba regulators. A diaphragm is used to deliver the breathing gas to the diver on demand, at ambient water pressure. The first modern two-stage, single-hose regulator was manufactured and distributed as the Sport Diver by Diver's Supply in Wilmington, California beginning in 1951. This design, an offshoot of surface supplied commercial gear, uses a first stage regulator mounted at the tank valve delivering air to a mouthpiece mounted second stage via a small diameter intermediate pressure about 140 psi hose. At about the same time as Diver Supply began selling the Sport Diver Regulator, Australian Ted Eldred designed a similar single hose system which he marketed as the Porpoise. Today, virtually all modern open circuit scuba gear uses this design, though Aqualung did market a modern double hose Mistral model in 2005 and 2006. There is controversy over the invention of the first single hose regulator. The invention was motivated by an effort to bypass Aqua Lung's patent on the double hose regulator. This patent involved the return of exhaust gas to the regulator to reduce the differential pressure and therefore reduce work of breathing. The single hose regulator accomplishes this by relocating a portion of the regulator to the point of exhaust, rather than routing the exhaust back to the regulator. Divers Supply, which had been supplying commercial surface supplied breathing systems, replaced the surface air supply with a tank mounted first stage pressure regulator. Ted Eldred claims to have developed his nearly identical system contemporaneously in Australia. 
Since neither party chose to patent the invention, it is difficult now to know if either design was inspired by the other or if, in fact, they were truly spontaneous inventions. There seems to be some evidence that the diver supply unit hit the market just prior to the Eldred porpoise, but there is no evidence that Eldred was aware of it. Topic. Tadpoles In the early years of scuba diving in Britain, tadpole was a nickname for a type of diving gear that had two meanings. A type of ex-Royal Air Force pilot's oxygen cylinder that had a tapering end, and was often used as an aqualung cylinder in the 1960s and earlier. An early make of Sieb Gorman Aqualung with a twin hose regulator and two air cylinders. Both ends were hemispherical, and were 13 inches long and 7 inches in diameter. Sieb Gorman's trade catalogue describing this set showed two sorts of diver wearing this set, both with weighted boots, and with no mention of free swimming. A 1950s Royal Navy diving manual also said that the aqua lung was only for bottom walking diving. Sieb Gorman either had no idea about sport diving then, or else was against sport diving, and expected aqua lungs to be used for light commercial diving. Later, most recreational divers were free swimming scuba divers, with bottom walkers virtually restricted to those doing commercial work. Topic. Trademark issues Aqualung, Aqualung, and Aqualung are registered trademarks for scuba diving breathing equipment. That trade name was originally owned in the United States by a company known as U.S. Divers now Aqua Lung America. The term was in use before the trademark was registered by René Bussos, who owned a sporting goods store called René Sports in Los Angeles. He obtained a contract with the French firm Air Liquide, the parent company of Aqua Lung, La Spirotechnique, to import the new scuba equipment into the United States for sale on the Pacific Coast SPACO had the contract for the Atlantic Coast. Bussos changed the name of his company to U.S. Divers and registered the name Aqua Lung. This turned out to be a wise move, because when the French company decided not to renew his five-year contract, no one had even heard of their product, but everyone was familiar with the names he had registered. Bussos sold the company and the trade names for a handsome profit, returning to France. The name U.S. Divers sounded very official and very American, but it was owned by a Frenchman and sold to a French company. Air Liquide held the patent on the original, Aqualung, also written as Aqualung, or Aqualung, until the patent expired sometime around 1960 to 1963. The term, Aqualung, as far as is known, first appeared in print on page 3 of Jacques-Yves Cousteau's first book, The Silent World, in 1953. Public use of the word, aqualung, and public interest in aqualungs and scuba diving, were started around 1953 in English-speaking counties by a National Geographical Society magazine article about Cousteau's underwater archaeological expedition to Grand Conglué. In France, aqualung diving was popularized by Cousteau's movie Apaves, while his book The Silent World also helped significantly. As with some other registered trademarks, the term aqualung became a genericized trademark in English-speaking countries as a result of common use by the public and in publications, including the BSAC's official diving manuals. 
presumably, lawyers for Cousteau or Air Liquide could have slowed or stopped this genericization by taking prompt action, but this seems not to have been done in Britain, where Sieb Gorman held the British rights to both the trade name and the patent. In the United States, the term Aqualung was popularized by the popular television series Sea Hunt 1958. This series never said that an Aqualung could be called anything else, or made by anyone else, but the company that supplied Mike Nelson, the lead character in the series. The Voigt Rubber Corporation provided most of the diving equipment used in this series, but actual aqua lungs appeared in early episodes. The word, aqualung, was commonly used in speech and in publications as a term for an open circuit, demand valve controlled breathing apparatus even after Air Liquide's patent expired and other manufacturers started making identical equipment, occasionally also for rebreathers, and in figurative uses, such as the water spider's aqualung of air bubbles. The word entered the Russian language as the generic noun akvaling. akvaling. That word was taken into Lithuanian as the generic noun, akvalongas. Langas happens to be Lithuanian for window, giving a literal meaning, aqua window. In the United States, U.S. divers managed to keep aqualung as a trademark. The acronym, scuba, or self-contained underwater breathing apparatus", originated in the United States Navy, where it meant a frogman's rebreathe. Scuba became the generic term for that type of open-circuit breathing set, and soon the acronym SCUBA became a noun. SCUBA. All in lower case. SCUBA was a trademark for a time, used by Healthways, now known as ScubaPro, one of the competitors of U.S. divers. In Britain, Sieb Gorman, who held the rights to the trade name, Aqualung, made no serious attempt to control use of the word, and Aqualung remained a common public generic word for that sort of apparatus, including in the British Sub-Aqua Club's official publications, for many years. Aqua Lung America, the current name of the U.S. Divers Company, now makes rebreathers whose trade names or catalog descriptions include the word Aqualung. The name U.S. Divers is now used as a trademark by Aqua Lung America for its line of snorkeling equipment. Topic. See also Timeline of underwater technology, the diving regulator reappears for details of the development of a similar regulator, not related to the Aqua Lung. Timeline of Underwater Technology, World War II for details of the development of the aqua lung. Scuba sets for description of modern breathing sets. Frogman, mistakes in fiction for common mistakes in depicting scuba gear. <laughs>